duck for president. Anthony Lackman, please call the office. Mr. Lackman, please call the office. Okay. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is covered from head to toe with hay, horse hair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. It doesn't smell very good either. The animals have chores to do too. Pigs clean under the beds, cows weed the garden, sheep sweep the barn, ducks take out the trash, mow the lawn, and grind coffee beans. At the end of each day, the pigs are covered in lint bunnies, the cows are covered in weeds, the sheep are covered in dust. And the duck is covered in tiny bits of grass and espresso beans. <coughs> duck did not like to do chores. He did not like picking up tiny bits of grass and espresso beans out of his feathers. Why is Farmer Brown in charge, anyway, thought Duck. What we need is an election. He made up a sign and hung it in the barn. Farmer Brown must go. Farm election tomorrow. It's for a little negative campaigning there, right? The next morning, Far Farmer Brown found a poster on his front door. Vote Duck for a kinder, gentler farm. Farmer Brown was furious. He ran to the barn and found the animals registering to vote. Voter registration. Voters must live on the farm and show valid ID. When you go to vote, when you go to vote, when you're an adult, you have to show your license that you're actually a resident of the district. On election day, each of the animals filled out a ballot and placed it in a box. The vote was counted and the results were posted on the barn wall. Farmer Brown got six votes and the duck got 20. Duck won. Farmer, Farmer Brown demanded a recount. We just had this, uh, it was an issue in Connecticut. <laughs> there was no recount, but it was very close. One sticky ballot was found stuck to the bottom of the pig. The new vote tally was Farmer Brown 6 and the Duck 21. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Should Peter Tessie worry? We have competition. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. Running a farm is no fun at all, thought Duck. Vote for me. I'm a duck, not a politician. That night, Duck and his staff started working on Duck's campaign for governor. Duck left Farmer Brown in charge and hit the campaign trail. He visited small town diners, he marched in parades, he went to town meetings, he gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. His vote for his constituents. The vote was counted and the results were posted in the local paper. Duck wins by a nose. Mrs. Governor had 299,999 votes and the duck got 300,000. He won by a vote. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the state. I should have read that first. Let's see it. Okay, the governor demanded a recount. Two sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of a plate of pancakes. The new tally was Miss Governor 299999, Duck 300,000, two votes. The vote, the voters had spoken once again. The duck was officially in charge. God bless you. Running a state is very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe and here. Spray, ink stains, scotch tape, fingerprints, mayonnaise, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running a state is no fun at all, thought Duck. 
That night, Duck and his staff started working on posters for the presidential election. A duck for a change. Duck making us proud again. I like Duck. Duck, and his, duck left his staff in charge and hit the campaign trail. He kissed babies in local diners. He gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. He even played the saxophone on late night television. Oh, we had a president who used to do that. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots and booths all over the country. The vote was counted and the results were announced on CNN. Mr. President, got 50 million votes, 50,546,165 votes. The duck, 50,546,170 votes. Duck won by five votes. The duck, the president, then demanded a recount. Two, ten sticky ballots were found to stuck to the bottom of the, of the vice president. So the new tally had the duck off by 15 votes. Oh my God. The voters had spoken. The duck was officially in charge again. <coughs> Running a country is very, very hard work. At the end of each day, the duck was covered from head to toe in face powder, paper cuts, staples, security badges, secret service agents, and fluffy stains. And he had a very, very, very bad <coughs> Running a country is no fun at all, Dr. Duck. That's him in the Oval Office. Then he checked the help wanted ads. Duck needed, no experience necessary. Must be able to mow the lawn and grind coffee beans. Duck left the vice president in charge and headed back to the farm. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is now covered from head to toe in hay, horse hair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. And Duck is working on his autobiography. And that's it. So you see that Duck started out on a local level, then he went to the state level, then he went to the federal level. So maybe one day Peter Tessie, who's our first selectman in Greenwich, which is like our mayor, maybe he'll run for governor, and maybe he'll run for president one day. And then you could say you live next door to the president at one time, right?